Hey there, English speakers. Jesse here. And welcome to another Wednesday live class and live session. Good to see you. How have you been? 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 I've been great. I had a good week and a good weekend. Well, there was a little bit of a, there was a little, we call it, hitch in my giddy up. Oh, uh, well, even some native speakers might not say that, but there was a little bit of a disaster, mini disaster on Sunday, which I will tell you about in this class. But besides that, uh, that's going to be my story for the session part. We're going to learn expressions. I'm going to tell you the story and we're going to learn expressions when you're telling stories about how to increase your fluency. Isn't that the point? Isn't that the point of learning a language really is to increase your fluency? So how's it going? Can you hear me? Is everything working well? Everything is A-OK. -okay. Let me just check that. OK, very good. So <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit about my week. Some good things that happened this week to me. Uh, I had one of my students got her results for her Cambridge exam. And she went and took a few months ago, maybe a month ago, she took her C1 level exam, which is her advanced level English exam. And I helped her a little with her speaking practice, a little bit with reading, but I got a message and she passed. So congratulations, Isabel, for that. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. So congratulations, Isabel. That was fantastic news. What else happened? Ah, the Olympics. The Olympics are over. The Olympics are over and they're not coming back for another four years. So if you're a fan of the Olympics, you'll have to wait four years. But that's kind of what adds to the excitement, isn't it? Note that question tag. They're called question tags, isn't it? Isn't it? I know they're every four years. I wasn't asking you if it's a question. I wasn't asking the literal question. It was more of a confirmation. When you add a question tag at the end of a sentence and the intonation goes down, you have to wait four more years. Or the Olympics are coming in four years, aren't they? Aren't they? I know they're coming in four years. I know you have to wait four years. But it's just a way to confirm. So, isn't it? Or if it's a legitimate question, isn't it? Isn't it? It's three o'clock, isn't it? I have to go to the computer and watch Jesse's live class. Is that what you say? You will say that eventually. But uh, you'll have to wait for their, another four years. I don't know where the next Olympics are. I read where they are. I want to say Tokyo, but I don't think that's right. Uh, if you know, let me know. Where are the next Olympics going to be in 2020? We call it 2020 or 2020, you can say. But normally, the 2020 Olympic Games, we would say. That's in four years from now. What's happening today? We had the closing of the Olympic ceremony. That was exciting. What else? Um, ah, Monday was my wife's birthday. We had a nice dinner. We went out and went on a little mini adventure for her birthday, walking around the city and following clues and, and drawing cards. And I planned a lot of fun stuff, and it seemed to be really fun for her. So. Happy birthday to her. Um, let's see, anything else? I wrote notes down. I'm looking down at the bottom because I want to tell you 
review things that have happened in the week, but I can't remember everything. So if there's something that happens in the week, I write it down. But those are the most important notes that I had during the week, aside from my disaster. But how about you? What happened with you during the week? How has your week been? What did you do? How did it go? What did you do? How did it go? What did you do? How did it go?